Hello. How hey. are you? Great. How are you? Good, good. Today I have the honor and privilege of being with Dr. Vicki Driver, and I am going to talk to her a little bit more about what is the WCCC. Hey, well, first of all, thanks for saying WCCC. Uh, <laughs> that stands for the Wound Care Collaborative Community. Most people try to say WCCC, and that's just way too long. <laughs> so WCCC, um, really great to be with you today. Yeah. So can you tell me a little bit more about what is the WCCC? Sure. Well, first of all, we've been uh, working together for 10 full years. We started uh, together uh, 10 years ago working on additional uh, primary endpoints to be utilized in clinical research. There was a small group of us uh, that did this work, including you know Mariana and Rissi and uh, Peggy Dotson and Lisa Gould. All the big Bill players. Ennis yeah. and Will Lee and all this. So we started thinking that we had needed to move this field forward. In some ways that were critically important that you don't get um, in a clinical trial and who's going to pay for it, right? Because it's not associated with any product. So we started with clinical endpoints. Um, we got very far. We did a lot of research. We uh, submitted to the FDA additional primary endpoints with uh, so much work. Three papers submitted to the Wound Repair and regener Regeneration a publication. The FDA then says, well, why don't you start a wound care collaborative community? And actually, that sounded kind of like a nothing burger. And I said, oh, no, 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 no. I'm thinking of my somebody. Somebody needs to do that, but not me. <laughs> well, they convinced me that indeed it was important. And in fact, 11 other areas of medicine had been chosen uh, to start a wound care collaborative community. Um, the FDA actually had a template for us to use, Gui not, not um, this is how you do it, but guidance in case you wanted to. Uh -huh. So three years ago, we started this, we incorporated, we're a 501c3. Um, we have about 200 volunteers. Wow. We have a full board of directors. We have three work groups, uh, seven work streams, and uh, uh, of the 200 volunteers, uh, many are very active. And what that means is we are looking at the gaps, the barriers in our field of medicine that affect patients and affect driving innovation. Not just new Me Too's, but I mean new medicines, new biologics, new devices, and new diagnostics. There are many barriers uh, and hurdles, um, many of them related to the processes um, related to FDA um, approval. Mm -hmm. uh, designing of a clinical trial, also um, some areas of science that are clear. There's obviously barriers with CMS and pairs, <laughs> but, but the barriers that we are really focused on is developing projects that can move our field forward, inhibit the barriers to real new innovation, develop the work, the evidence, publish it, present it. We're working in conjunction with the FDA. In fact, yesterday, we had a full day summit with about 160 people. And it, it, it wasn't like who's there for show. It were people who are really committed to making change in this field. And when I mean making change, I mean we have been stuck for a while in terms of new real innovation and also getting the patients access to the great products that we have. Uh, so there's a couple of areas. So yesterday, we spent the entire day uh, working together showing the projects, um, the evidence that's been developed, and what's in store with WCCC and also the FDA. We had five FDA members there. We had uh, represented both CDRH, who are devices, and also CDER, which represents <laughs> drugs. Yeah. Uh, we, had, we had a fantastic meeting. Uh, in fact, I was, I was just sharing with you, uh, people didn't even leave the meeting. They were stuck in their seat. We had... Um, uh, Dr. Will Lee is the keynote speaker. We had really um, a very good panel of people dedicated uh, to making change. And we don't exclude anyone. Everybody is represented, you know, societies, associations, uh, the alliance, uh, industry, government, clinicians, and academicians. Well, that's awesome. Yeah. I think um, what I would like to know for our audience is, you know, is there anything that the wound care community that is out there, is there anything they can do to help support WCCC? Or is there things in the future that we should be watching for? Or how can we get updates to that? 
great point. First of all, go to our website. If you just put Wound Care Collaborative Community in Google or whatever your search engine, it will pop up. Um, you can become a member. It's free. There's no cost. You can join a work group or work stream. It, you know, as you join, it asks you how you would like to get involved, if you'd like to get involved. Um, we have ongoing meetings. They're all on our website, so you know exactly when they are. You know who the chairs are. So that's, that's a really great point. And we have um, very good support uh, of industry members from very small uh, to very large. Cool. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, you can find me on the list of new members here shortly. I'm definitely signing up to help collaborate. I'd encourage our community to do the same. Thank you so much, Dr. Vicki Driver. We really appreciate you sharing this with us. And Liz, you're the best. Thanks so much. <laughs> I, I really appreciate your time, too. Yeah, Cheers.